Uh, okay, sorry, I mistakenly I stopped the recording, and so uh, I should continue. Uh, the, uh, this is uh, continuing as a second part. Okay, the problem was uh, that um, uh, when we change the set point here, uh, it doesn't change, but uh, when the when the temperature changes, the set point also changes. So there was some mistake here. Uh, we notice that okay, it is not because of the HMI, so there should be something wrong in the PLC. Okay, regarding the PLC, to find out what's uh, what's the problem, uh, let's uh, set the PLC in the uh, monitor. The PLC, uh, uh, okay, on the online mode, uh, so we can see the values. Okay, set point. The problem is on the set point. Let's find the set point. This is the set point, okay? And we expect that when, um, okay. When we are in the external, when we change this, it should change, uh, but nothing change, okay? Yeah, this is the set point that should change. On the potential meter. Let me say, see here, this is the external set point. Uh, when I change the potentiometer, this external set point value changes. So, so the input correctly given is given to the PLC. The problem is on our program some, somewhere in calculation. So when this changes, this also changes, set point, normalized set point, but oh, oh, okay, this is normalized sensor. It should be normalized set point. Good. So let's stop. Yeah, so let me stop this. This should be normalized uh, set point. Yeah, not sensor. Mistakenly, I select this. Okay, this is normalized set. So let me download it. Yes, and uh, I don't know if we change anything on the HMI. So let me change download also that part. I don't really so, okay, so we change uh, quick this. Let's um, monitor. And see what will happen. Okay, set point. I change the set point, the potentiometer for the set point. Yeah, the set point normalized change and the set point itself changes. Okay, so let's look at the HMI here. You see? Yes, the set point changes. So, see that the set point changes. This is for the set point. It changes according to that. And here I have the actual sensor. Okay. Now this, now that it changed, not this, uh, the set point is not uh, changed because uh, uh, yeah there was a mistake here. Okay, so let's look at the, the system how as it works. Um, um, okay, uh, right now the set point is external set point. Uh, this is two hundred sixty. Okay, I'm no, sorry, this one. I changed that. Okay, 260, 17, okay. So let's put that, for example, in 300. Okay, approximately 300. And if the temperature is too low, Temperature is too low, okay. The oven is cold, okay. The oven is cold, and we expect that the heater should turn turns on. It doesn't. Let's look at that. Why not? The heater should turn on, and when the temperature is high, the, te the heater should turn on. Oh, okay. The reason is this. Oh, sorry. This, the process is on. So here. Now the temperature is high, it is approximately 400, so the oven is hot, it's red, and the heater is off. 
And when the heater is off, because the fan is on, so we expect that the temperature will decrease. So let me decrease the temperature. And see, you see that the, when the temperature is low, the oven becomes blue, it means that the oven is cold, and the heater turns on. Okay, so it works properly at least. But there's one thing that uh, seems not work correctly, and that is regarding when the temperature is, is good, it's fine, it's approximately 300, okay? At this point, we expect that the oven should be green. It shouldn't be red. See, it's switched from red to blue, not on the green. So there should be something wrong in this part. Let's check that also. Okay, regarding this part. Okay, regarding it's this part. Okay, for the command to be fine. Let's see if it works properly or not. This is the temperature max and temperature mean. Oh, the temperature max and mean, both of them are 300. So there's something wrong on this value. Temperature tolerance band is zero. Oh, it should be 5% around this, some, something around 15. So there's something wrong on the, toler the tolerance band. Uh, tolerance band. Okay, tolerance band comes from here. It is should be five percent around this one, and this five oh, this is not five. You see, tolerance percent is not five. It is not a correct uh, format. Uh, it's a not correct. Ah, uh, okay, I got it. Uh, the problem is that since this is an integer value, so it doesn't uh, consider this as a real. But please notice, it is double word. word uh, and double word cannot be for the integer. Integer should be word. MW is word. But MDW, double word, cannot be an integer. And so this 5, of course it accepts as 5, but it shows that as a, um, let's say, a um, kind of binary value instead of a number, as a real number. So let me just stop this. The type is very important in the Siemens to be consistent. So this, let me just simply 5.0, okay? This is a real number. And then automatically it accepts this also as a real number. And this is a double word. Double word is a, it means that uh, it is a four byte, and four byte is good for the real. So let me download that. Hopefully this works. Yes. And then set that on the yeah this is five and no it is five percent and no the tolerance span is 15 and so we have the maximum minimum correctly 15 degree degrees more than or less than the set point okay check let's check the camera yes that's green okay that's good so you see um if the first one which this is for the, yeah, this is for the temperature. Okay, I, let's assume that the temperature is low. The oven is blue, it's cold, and the heater is on. So the temperature increases since the heater is on. Somewhere around here, you see that the heater is still on, but the temperature is good. The temperature is, let's, let's say, I don't want to say good by the all means, but it means that the temperature is within 5%. But since the heater is on, it is increasing. So the temperature increases to something, yeah, 50% more than that. The oven is hot, the heater turns off, and so we expect that the temperature should decrease. And the control system, if it was a real process, the control system works with that, laying that until it's approximately in this range. 